So, regarding the lowers, lowers is actually belonging to the group known by the name primate or primates. It is coming under the order primates. The importance of primates is that they are comparatively more highly evolved mammals. They are more intelligent compared with the other, other groups of mammals. And, and most of the uh, higher mammals, including human beings, are coming under this order called the order primates. And our example is the case of this loris. Now, if you are taking loris in Malayalam, we call it as Kutti Thevan. That is the meaning of Malayalam word of this loris known by the name Kutti Thevan. It is a very small animal, shy animal. If you are looking at the face of that animal itself, you can find it has a very big eyes are there. So, these are some of the important features of the animal. And mainly they are fine, they are present in the jungle or forest regions of South India, including Kerala. If you go to the inner, inner forest of our, our uh, Kerala, we will be able to see this animal. But it is not easy to find this animal because they are very, very shy animal. They will not come if a small sound is there. So finding it is always very difficult. So that is the main problem in dictating this animal known by the name loris. Now, if you look at the face of this animal, you can see that they have a very large eyes compared with the uh, other, the entire, uh, entire face, their eyes are more prominent or more larger. So that is one peculiarity of this loris. So their eyes are comparatively larger. Now, they do not have any tail. So almost all the primates are characterized by absence of tail. So absence of tail is an important feature of primate. You take any um, any uh, higher uh, uh, higher order organism, not 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 the absence of tail. This animal is as uh, doesn't have a tail. Then if you are taking this, they are moving very slowly. Slow moving animal are. There, that is one peculiarity of this. They are moving very slowly in the, in the forest. Then you can also see that they are built, the nature of their body. Slender. Slender means very lean. Very lean. Well, that is the meaning of the word slender. Very thin or very lean. That is the meaning of the word slender. Slender build and the color of the body. Earthy brown color. That is how the body looks like. So these are some of the general features. Then muscle. Muscle means the front portion of the, the body. This is the muscle. This portion of the face is done by the muscle. It is white in color. Then we have the nose region. This is the nose of the animal. You can see that it is projecting. So overall it is a very curious uh, looking animal. You can see that very big prominent eyes are there. Another peculiarity regarding the eyes is that they, they, they have a good uh, night vision no, no, because they are mainly coming out during the night time that is why their eyes are very large just like the eyes of an owl owl has a very big eyes the purpose of bigger eyes is to collect maximum amount of light which will be available in a dark forest that is, a, that is why they also have a very larger eyes very prominent eyes so that eyes will be able to collect whatever weak light will be available in the forest. So that is one peculiarity. Then they are also solitary. Solitary means living alone. Without any partner or without any company or without any other, um, um, other group members. So such animals which are living alone are known by the name solitary. So all animals are not always uh, living together or they will be in company with other members of other male or other female members of the same species. So there are several animals which are living alone all the time. So that kind of lifestyle is known as solitary, solitary lifestyle. So these are some of the important features of this group known by the name, um, uh, this animal known by the name Lowry's. Now, if you look at the order primates, there are many other animals are also coming under this group. I will show you 
some examples of other groups of animals which are primates here you can see that so primates is a diverse group of animals you can see that see there are so many other types of animals are there so these are the uh, other groups of animals which are coming under this group so there are uh, lemur galagos loris so these are some of the other animals which are, which can be found in this group then tarsier is there so then many many kinds of monkeys are coming under this group so it's a very large group here also you can see that these are the uh, human beings is also coming in, the, in this group then many monkeys are coming under this group so so the, then gibbons are coming orangutans are coming chimpanzees are coming so this group is uh, mainly consists of monkeys or human beings or other related related mammals so that are the features of the primate now we will see another group that is um, uh, carnivora carnivora that is a second next order known by the name carnivora and we have to study one example known by the name panthera one minute <coughs> So regarding the Panthera, Panthera is also an interesting group, three different species are there and before that <coughs> we will see what are the features of this order known by the name Carnivora. Carnivora is basically, carne means flesh, meat, that is the meaning of the word carne means flesh or meat and vora means to feed or to eat. So, the meaning of the word carnivora means meat eating or flesh eating animals. So, they are the basically flesh eating animals and they have a sharp pointed canines at the front of this. Uh, if you look at a uh, dog, or you can see that two pointed teeth will be there at the front on either side. So, that is known as the canine teeth. So this the presence of a very long pointed canine teeth as you can see in a tiger or a lion or a leopard or in a dog. They have a very pointed teeth and they are known by the name canines. Then another peculiarity is that they are quadrupeds. Quadru means four, ped means leg. So they have four legs and they are also walking on four legs. So animals which are walking on four legs are known by the name quadrupeds. That is the meaning of the word quadrupeds. So all these animals like leopard, tiger, lion, etc. are coming under the group known by the name carnivora. Then another peculiarity is that if you look at the skull of these animals, they have a temporal fossa. You can see that this is the region of the temporal fossa and this region is opening to this side that is one peculiarity of this see this is the temporal fossa and it is opening to the back or opening behind that is one peculiarity of almost all the carnivore or carnivorous mammals so that way also we can easily distinguish between whether this animal this skeleton or this animal belongs to carnivora or any other group of animals so coming to the panthera Regarding Panthera, we have some many, uh, this, they, this is a genus, that genus includes two, three anime, three species mainly. One is Panthera leo, Panthera tigris, uh, then Panthera uh, leopard, uh, then there is another one more species is there. Uh, and that, to that species also the Panthera, the leopard is coming, that is also belonging to, I, I forgot the species name. So these are the three species which are coming under this genus Panthera. Now regarding the nature of this animal, you can see that they are nocturnal. What is the meaning of the word nocturnal? Mainly coming out or active during night. Such animals which are active and coming during night are known by the name nocturnal. And since they are meat eating animal, they are primarily feeding on the other herbivorous mammals like deer, antelope, etc. So mammals or zebra. So such mammals which are mainly feeding on grass or uh, other plant matter 
uh, they are the primary prey of these animals. So, like, just like whether it is a lion or a tiger, they are basically feeding on or eating other smaller mammals, which are mainly herbivorous mammals. It can be a rabbit, it can be a deer, or it can be an antelope, or any other smaller mammal which it, which it, which it can overpower and feed. So another peculiarity is that their body is very large. See, if you look at that, this is the tiger. You can see the tiger is a very powerful animal. I think it may be two or three times the body weight of an average human being. And it will, its hands are also very strong. So it can easily overpower human being or any other such mammal. So that is why people are always afraid when tiger is coming out. So it's a very strong animal and it's very powerful also, very highly efficient in capturing prey. So that is a large body and they have very long tail and eyes are also prominent. If you look at here, you can see that eyes not so big, but at the same time it is in a sufficient to dictate the prey. But and most of the time they are also feeding. Uh, 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 may, may capturing their prey or, the, uh, or, or, or hunting during the night time. That is why they are also classified as nocturnal animal. Then they have a digits. Digits means their fingers. And the fingers will be having sharp retractile claws. So you might have observed the hands or legs of a cat. Cats are also having nails, but if you closely observe the nails of a cat, you can see that nail, the cat can pull back the nails into, into that uh, the pouch of skin. So that is one peculiarity of the cat. And similarly, these animals can also retract or pull back their nails or close into their skin. So that is called by the name retractile, retractile, that is the meaning of Retractile means something that can be pulled back. So the another peculiarity is that carnacial teeth. Carnacial teeth means there are two types of teeth in our uh, uh, the, there are premolar and molar. Now what happens in this uh, uh, tiger, lion and leopard or most of the other carnivorous animals is that upper premolar teeth and lower molar teeth. They are working like a scissor so that they can easily cut or tear any flesh easily. So for that they have a special type of teeth and they are known as a carnacial teeth. That all? Waiting. Okay, so they are known as the carnacial teeth. So that is the peculiarity of the carnacial teeth. Now, male lion has a very long hair on the neck and shoulder. You might have observed a male lion. And if you look at a male lion, you can see that it has a lot of hair on either side of the face. That is what we call male. Male, I will show you the picture. You might be remembering what is a male. See, this is how the so this is this is this portion is known by the name me. So this is this long hair, long hairs on the face is are known by the name me. And purpose is to increase its uh, look, to give it a more ferocious or uh, aggressive look the tiger is having. So, so without this main tiger, this lion will be looking like a uh, you know, very innocent animal. So to increase its aggressiveness, this uh, the, board, the nature has given it as a long hair. That is the purpose of this mane. So that is the aim of this mane. So male lion is also a neck and that is known by the neck, um, uh, long hairs on the neck and shoulder and which is known by the name mane. And, uh, I will tell you what is the scientific name of a leopard. Leopard is known by the name Panthera pardus. That is the scientific name of leopard, Panthera pardus. 
here you can see the leopard is also a, here in Malayalam we call it as a pulli pulli. See, this is how the leopard will be looking like. It is also a very strong animal, very ferocious animal, very good in ca capturing prey. And their body is also very agile. They can run very fast, jump very fast and for a shorter distance they can easily overpower most of the prey. That is, it is a short period of time. Then we have many other animals which are uh, belonging to the, I will show you some more animals which are coming under the group. See the Panthera is a very large genus. See, here you can see some of the other animals which are coming under the genus Panthera. See? Here. So, this is one jaguar is also coming under Panthera onca, then tiger, Panthera tigris, then snow leopard, Pan Panthera ansia, then lion. Panthera leo and Panthera pardus. These are the different types of animals which are coming under the genus Panthera. So regarding your, you need to study only about the Panthera, genus Panthera. So remember that the genus is containing so many other groups of animals and all of them are very famous, also very powerful animals also. Then we have another group known by the name Edendata. That group is known by the name Edendata. Let me open this one also. See, the next group is Edendata, and Edendata include Armadillo. And we will come to that. So, regarding this is the Armadillo. And regarding the Armadillo, you can see that. One important peculiarity of this edentata, E means uh, uh, absent, dentata means referring to their teeth. So their teeth are imperfect, they do not have a properly developed teeth, uh, but and they do not have enamel also. So it is because of the lack of enamel we are giving the, the name edentata. Then as you can see that they have a scales which are present all over the body just as you in the case of this armadillo there is another peculiarity and third peculiarity of that feature is that the tongue is very long and sticky so that is another peculiar feature of the hidden data now in this group we have one example that is armadillo so armadillo has number of features we will see one by one they are the meaning of the word armadillo is simply little armored one. Armor means a body cover. A protective body cover is the meaning of the word armor. So they have they are well covered by a body armor. That is why they are known by the name armadillo. Then the they are commonly present in Central and America as well as South America. Then other features is that nocturnal animal, you know what is a nocturnal animal. Now you may be also remembering the term fossorial. Fossorial means living in burrows or just like a rat or my mouse. They are living in burrows, that is why they are fossorial. So armadilla is also a fossorial animal. And what is the meaning of the word omnivorous feeding on? plant matter, animal matter or any other type of food. That is a omnivorous. Omni means eating many. So then coming to the general bodily features, the head region is short and have a long protrusible tongue. This is how the, they have a small head compared to the body. The head region is slightly smaller in, size, in, in comparison to the body, not so small. And one peculiarity of this armadillo is that the tongue is very long. 
they have very long tongue and just like the echidna that we have there the tongue is very long and using that long tongue they are able to catch small uh, small insects especially ants so armadilla has uh, that peculiarity that the tongue is very long they put, they put out uh, that law project that tongue out and because tongue is containing lot of gummy uh, saliva the uh, ants and other small insect will be easily attached to the tongue and the animal will be feeding on it then eyes are also small if you look at the eyes you can see that they have a smaller eyes then uh, pinna pinna are long pinna means the external ear this is the pinna because when the external ear is very long that means that that is animal will be very good in in dictating the sound and also they have a very keen sense of smell because those animals which are primarily living in burrows usually have a higher higher ability to dictate smell because these are animals which are mainly capturing their prey and also escaping from their predators by using their smell as well as hearing then the body is covered with armor of body dermal plates called osteoderms this kind of uh, are uh, plates are known by the see the body is covered with a number of plates and that kind of bodily covering is known by the name osteoderm osteo 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 means bone derm means skin so osteo bony skin that is the meaning of the word then polyembryony polyembryony means multiple embryos will be developed in the uterus so more embryo more uh, children will be born at each delivery so that is one peculiarity polyembryony is present then long sharp claws for digging and they are also prolific diggers that is this animal this like our rats or mouse they are very good in digging burrows and they are mainly living in burrows also they have a shorter legs you can see that legs are very short compared with their body the very short legs see the body is entirely covered and these are the covering these coverings are known by the name osteoderms then another peculiarity is that and they are moving very uh, they are, but can move quite quickly or quite faster then they are basically their origin is in south america that's a, that, that that is the primary area of the distribution then coming to the body temperature you can see that body temperature is between 33 and 36 degrees centigrade slightly lower than the body temperature of a human being or other kinds of monkeys then low basal metabolic rate that is 40 to 60 percent of the expected in placental man and that is one and another peculiarity most of the animals have a higher mammals will be having a comparatively higher metabolic rate but in this animal their bodily metabolic rate that is the rate of their bodily activities a slightly slower than the activities that we are finding in most of the highly developed animal then as in the iso or previous example that is loris this is also a solitary mammal so these are some of the important features of this animal they are also highly developed uh, and but they are also solitary in nature and remember that this is coming to a group known by the name edentata the important feature of this group is that lack of uh, enamel on the teeth that is why they are known by the e dentata enamel is not present so in this cat category we have one example that is the armadillo now we have more examples are there which we have with, i think we will take in the in the 5 minutes or 10 minutes we won't be able to finish so we will stop for today here so so remember that one is armadillo then second example is panthera and third example is the loris so these are the three examples which we have discussed today in other classes we can study more of this uh, these examples